Hello everyone, welcome to the Yen's Team Virtual Fun Park, where we explore, imagine, discover, and create. I'm Thomas Edison, and with me in the hall today is Miss Lois Brill. Hello, hello everybody. I'm so happy to be here again with you guys. I hope you're staying safe at home. Thank you. Wow, well, Mrs. Ray, you're welcome to Sim Hub today. Yeah, so it's good to have you today. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. so happy to All be right. here. All right, guys, now into this challenge, we shall be exploring the concept of polymer science. Woo! Now, polymers are found everywhere, from our food to our clothes. You will learn exactly what polymers are, as well as experiment with some common types of polymers. But what are polymers? Have you ever heard the tale of the three little pigs? This fable shows that building a house from bricks is far better than sticks or straw. Now, if you look closely at a brick house, you will see that each brick is uniform. They are layered in a repeated pattern to design that house. Bricks can be used to build many structures from sidewalks to very large buildings. There are many structures found in nature or made by humans that are made in a similar way, like polymers. Polymers are very big molecules made up of many small molecules layered together in a repeating pattern. In fact, the word polymer is Greek for many parts. The small molecules that come together to form polymers are called monomers, which are small units that link together over and over to form a larger polymer. Now think of a monomer like paper clips that link together to form a chain and the chain is called a polymer. Okay, now here's a big challenge. Oh, by the way, Miss Bray, you're welcome to the show again. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now we have a big challenge on the ground today and the challenge is to actually Poke a liquid bag with pencil without the water spilling out. Wow. Miss Brill, do you think it's possible to poke a bag of water without it spilling out? Yes, it's very, very possible. Okay. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. Today's okay. going to be far. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, now by the way, um, let's welcome a young scientist in the house, Miss Precious uh -huh. Emmanuel. Woo! You're welcome, You're Precious welcome. Emmanuel. Hello, friends. All right, yeah, welcome Precious. Now we're saying that we'll have a challenging ground today. We want to pack a satchel liquid bag, okay, with a pencil, a sharp pointed pencil without the water spilling out. Is that possible, Precious? Yes, it's possible. You think so? Yes. Oh, let's wow. see you do it right now. Okay, thank you, Sasha Water. Okay, take your pencil. All right, I'm going to have mine to write. Okay, let's see. Let's Precious Emmanuel pack a bag of water without the water spilling out. Wow. Whoa! Woo! Did you see that? Oh, I'm doing it right. Keep a circle. Uh oh, that was so interesting. Oh, and, and another one. Wow. Your, Your brain, brain is working. working. Keep it up. Wow. wow. <laughs> interesting. So she actually popped oh a satchel water bag with a pencil without the water wow. spilling out. Do you think you want to try this, Miss Braille? I, I, I need to. I yeah, need to. I can't wait to try it wow, too. Wow, I need Whatever to. Whatever science works. Woo. Now, at a count of three, two, go. Wow. wow! This is interesting. We just popped yes. a liquid bag with a pencil oh without God. the water spilling out. Wow! wow. This is fun. I want to try this again. Wow. Can I try it again? You want to try it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. You want to try it again, right? Oh wow! My God. Wow! It's interesting, right? Wow! It's exciting. Wow! Wow! Whoa, did you guys see this? We just wow. popped a such a bag of water with a pencil with three pencils wow. without the water spilling out. Wow, Mr. Thomas had to see your brain is working. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, keep it right. It Come on. Thank you. <laughs> and now guys, this is the challenge in the house today. You just get back to your to, to see right now and then just get your pencils, sharpen them very well. You can use a pen. Now poke your such a liquid bag with the pencil without the water spilling out. Now, let's see which of you can poke the such a bag with the highest number of pencils. Now, thank you so much for joining us in today's STEM Hub. We hope you enjoyed and participated in today's challenge. Please send in your pictures and videos of your participation. All videos and pictures must reach us on or before your next challenge the same day of next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.